Jesus is not God period. Making Jesus God who has a God who said his father is the only God is idolatry. Here Jesus is confessing all authority was given to him by God. Matthew chapter 28 verse 18, Jesus had no power of his own. Thus, God Almighty is above Jesus the prophet. Paul takes it a step further by stating, at the end of time Jesus will return all his authority to God and submit himself to God. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 24 to 28, Jesus was a helpless man who was unable to do anything without the help of God. John 5.30, Jesus did not know when the end of time was but about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Mark chapter 13 verse 32, even after the crucifixion and resurrection, Jesus still did not know when, the end time, would come. Acts chapter 1 verses 6 to 7, the stupidest response by Christians is, Jesus had two natures? How does God have two natures? When does he choose who or what he is? This is no different than what LGBT is promoting a change of gender. One day you're a man, next to a woman, following day a girl. What kind of sickness is this? A God who doesn't know when to make up his mind. How do you have two natures and switch on and off as you please? So, here's a dilemma. If Jesus can switch natures as he pleases then he could do all the worst things possible for a man to do like rape, murder, fornication, lying, deceiving, stealing and then switch back to being a God and forget all that happened as no one can put God to the trial for his doings. Do you see the problem this puts Christians in? God is not a mortal like me, so I cannot argue with him or take him to trial. Job chapter 9 verse 32, Jesus confessed God is greater and better and sent him. Jesus said, I am with you only a little while longer, and then I am going to the one who sent me. John chapter 7 verse 33, we read Jesus confessing that God is greater than him. John chapter 14 verse 28. How then is he also the same God? The same Jesus said, God, sent him. John chapter 7 verse 33. How then is he also the same God? If Jesus had two natures as Christians claim, then did his human nature go through the same physical changes as others did? Take for example puberty. Did Jesus also feel the change in hormones, feeling desire when he was going through his puberty? After all, he did have a human side, right? Can Christians honestly tell us their man God didn't go through such sexual desiring moments whilst growing up? Can they show us that Jesus did not have wet dreams and instead changed his nature to God during those processes? No, they can't. So, let's keep it simple. Jesus was a man and not God. Jesus even told the Jewish man who called him good that God alone is good, why do you call me good? Jesus answered, no one is good, except God alone. Mark chapter 10 verse 18, if a man refrains from calling himself good where did you get the idea, he called himself God? Think about it.